Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Aurora Skies. I'm Landros, and here we are back with um, Adam and Roxy. Roxy's in her best moment, and I'm getting ready to go send them off to bed, I believe. Actually, Roxy, you're kind of hungry. You're not really as tired as you should be. Let's go ahead and let her eat something real quick. Adam, you're fine. You're going to play with the dog? That's good. Why don't you go ahead and um, be friendly to him? No, I don't want the newspaper. All right, you're fine. You're going to do whatever you're going to do. Make sure Roxy's got everything that she needs taken care of. Oh, man. Adam, tell you what. I know you're doing something good, but let's clean this up. Poor Roxy's going to have to go outside and eat in the, in the snow because nobody cleans up the house. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, you're bad. Okay, that should have taken care of them. Austin, let's see. You, on the other hand, you can come over here and chew on this toy real quick. <clears throat> when you're done with that, where did I put your bowl? Oh, it's right there. Okay, you can go ahead and eat from the bowl, and that'll take care of you. You don't really need a whole lot as far as destruction, but I just figured since you're here, go ahead and do it. What's wrong? Are you just this bad? It's probably bad food. I probably get. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Roxy, don't eat that stuff. Ah, oh, you're going to get sick and throw up. I had no idea. Well, Adam, tell you what, if that stuff's bad, let's clean it out. Oh, it's already gone. Um, why don't you just go ahead and make up something so that you guys will have it for later. And Roxy, you, sorry to say, had to eat that. That's just nasty. <clears throat> go ahead and go to bed. Let me just take care of that one. <clears throat> and then Adam, when you're done, we'll get you to put that away, and then you can go on to bed, too. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Alright, Austin. <laughs> there you go. And he's a good dog. Okay, now I want to actually... I don't think he can pee yet. That's okay. He'll pee when he needs to. Alright, hold on just one moment. Alright, sorry about that. I had to actually take care of a call real quick. Alright. Adam, how are you doing? Did you finish it up? I think you did. Uh, if I can actually stop twirling around here. Adam, no, 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 don't leave. I want you to go ahead and put... Actually, I can put it away. You go do what you gotta do. Go to bed. You can sleep. It's after midnight. Okay, Austin, I don't know. Oh, wait, we should have fed you, but I think you're fine until the morning. Yeah, you'll be okay for then. Yeah, there's nothing in there to eat. All right, so tell you what, whoever's going to get up first is actually going to be the one to eat, to actually feed you, and I believe that's going to be Roxy. So, Roxy, you go ahead and, well, you can't do it yet. You fill the bowl. All right, guys, while they're sleeping, I'm going to go ahead. Austin, get over here. Why do you do this? Uh, now you're going to wake her up. No, she, no, you're not. I'm going to actually start locking these doors. In fact, let's just do that now because otherwise you're just going to constantly do this. So tell you what, you're not going to be allowed to go in this room. Lock for pets. And you're not coming through here either. That way you have to go through the bathroom through that door. And that's it. So there you go. Now try to wake her up. Alright guys, I'll be back in just a moment when they're all up and ready to get going. Well, that didn't take long at all. Looks like Roxy's getting ready to get up anyway. Um, at least everything kind of slowed down, so I thought she was getting up, but she's still just curled up, doing what she wants to do. I can't say as I blame her. I'd be doing the same thing. The bed looks nice and comfortable, so that's that's fine. She can sleep as long as she wants, but I'm going to go ahead and speed it up for just a minute. There you go. Now she's getting up. All right, once you're done, let's go ahead and make sure you take care of what you need to take care of, which you really don't need the bath. I mean the bathroom, but, you know, you might as well. Um, you can't take a shower? There yeah, you can. <laughs> I thought you could. Okay, now I'm assuming you're going to have the baby today at some point. So before you do that, I'm going to let you come out here. And I know it's awful to make you come out here in the snow. But I want you to go ahead and accept gifts from a friend. That way we can lock those in real quick. Oh, you need to clean that toilet too. I hate making you do it because you're pregnant. In fact, you know what? Adam can do that. Let's let him get that and take care of it. <clears throat> Look at you, buddy. All right, tell you what, Adam, why don't you go ahead and come on in here, clean that toilet, 
And then you actually do need to eat something, so we'll go ahead and let you have some of the leftovers that you made from last night. And then you can go ahead and you can use it. And then you can shower. Okay, and then where's Austin's niece? And then you can actually play around with your dog. So you can actually show him some affection by talking to him. You can mm, feed him a treat. Rub his belly. You can hug him. Do the whole smoochy, the whole bit. Alright. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look and see what we're getting. I don't know how many of these are going to be available for her. But we're going to actually go through and I'm just going to split some of them for this family and some for university, which I'm actually going to be hopefully playing tonight. Okay, if it's a university gift, I'm just going to save it for them. From Katamarie, 051789, thanks for the emoticot. Happy simming. Thank you very much. And let's see what we're getting. We got the pink flamingo, so thank you very much. And I've already sent my gifts back, so I'm going to have to hold off. And I'm going to be, I think I've got about another hour. Okay, from Amy Wolfsong, use in whatever family you want. Maybe it's a duck or a truck, but probably neither. Probably not. Let's go ahead and take a look. We got the clock, so thank you very much for that. Okay, Amy Wolfsong, same message. Let's go ahead and see what we're getting on this one. All right, we got a high chair. We do need one of those, actually, because we are having the baby coming up pretty quick. Okay, this is all for university. Um, from Astro Paragnoste, hello, I am playing Midnight Sun Challenge 2. It is difficult. Love to watch your LPs. A fan from Belgium. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I've had a, I've had a really bad day. Um, but I appreciate that. That's really nice. Okay, we got the Permapalm. You can probably tell I'm not as excited right now. I probably shouldn't even be playing. I should probably just go right back to bed. It's been that kind of a day. All right, from Jinky Sarah, I love your videos. Keep up the good work. I'm sorry, I'm trying my best today. <laughs> it's not that good, but all right. So we got the hipster edition. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Okay, um, let's see. None of these say Aurora, so I'm gonna just move on. Free to write to all. I love your LPs. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And we got the stereo. So you guys are sending some good things. Okay, opening university. That's fine. Uh, using supernatural. Okay, I wish Brandon could accept gifts. This is from Amanda1250. I wish Brandon could accept gifts. Use for whichever family needs it most. I know, I kind of made that rule, and I know, it's okay. Um, they're doing okay, though, for right now. Okay, still, this is all university. University. Okay, from Chromagia Blind Mag. Haven't seen any of my gifts make it to you in any of your LPs yet, so I'll send you five more. You can use these in any of your awesome LPs. Well, thank you. That's really nice of you to say. I appreciate it. And we got the xylophone. That's something we're going to need pretty uh, pretty quick here. So thank you very much for that. Okay. I'm going to hold on to this. These other ones that you've sent for me, I'm going to hold on to them for university. Okay? All right. From Dale, Dale and the Kitty, this is the message from the game. We got the potted perennials. So very good stuff. And from Dale and the Kitty again, we're getting... We got the solid off lamp. Very good. All right. Thank you guys so much for these gifts. That looks like all that Roxy's going to be able to take. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and stop real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and save the game so I don't lose any of those. I'll be back in just one second. All right. We're back. Now, I don't know exactly what she wants to do, but she does need to get out of the snow. So let's get her inside real quick. And I'll uh, tell you what. As far as the things for her job, she's mastered gardening. Um, she could work on painting, but I don't think I brought her her easel. So let's see she's only got a little bit more left to go in painting um, and there's really nowhere to put an easel in this house unless I start moving a few things let me see what I can do for her real quick because <clears throat> it does say she wants to actually increase that skill if we go over here and let's see painting easel <clears throat> I believe there was a new one I know this one that came with university um, that was from the fairy folk set that I have from the store we could use it. I haven't used it in a while. Um, I did use it in one of my other games, but not in my LPs. All right. So far, I don't see anything that I'm just like, ah, I gotta have that one. Um, and we're gonna have to spend money on um, the baby's room, so I'm probably not gonna spend a lot of money on this, just because we're just trying to max up her skill. Okay. Can you put this? Where can this? I know it could go here, but it looks kind of tacky to put it there. I think. Um, I could be wrong, but. Yeah, see, that's a very tight, very tight spot. She wouldn't have enough room to get around that, I don't think. Now, if we put it over this way, it'll fit there. 
and I think she can actually get in there and do it in that little corner. So we're just going to let her go there. And this way it gives her somewhere to go and paint. <clears throat> go ahead and paint something large. Your needs are all pretty good. You're kind of hungry, but not too, not too bad. Okay, everything else is fine. Adam, you on the other hand, let's see, you've got everything set up to take care of, but uh, you're going to actually go to work a little bit later today. Still doing your midlife crisis, which is fine. What do we want to do with Austin? Teach him to sit up. Well, you know, that's what you're going to do once we get you a open spot. All right, you're going to teach him to sit up. All right, that actually takes care of you. It takes care of your needs. Roxy, look at you go. That is really nice. She's going to do a really good job of this, I can tell. Okay, now guys, like I said, I probably shouldn't be playing. I had my surgery finally for my tooth. It took forever to get in. Um, unfortunately, <clears throat> it was just not my favorite thing in the world. Um, they couldn't actually put me out. They couldn't put me under, so they had to do it under local, which that's never fun, and it, it hurt, but that's okay. I'm just sore, and so I'm kind of just I'm half groggy doing what I can do. I'm getting through it. But then I actually made the mistake of reading a few comments from people that I knew better. I shouldn't have even read them. And uh, it's it's not that they're mean or hateful. It's just condescending comments just get to me after a while. It's like, come on. You know, if you're going to be that way, I'd rather just not even read the comments from them. But I'm going to put that out of my head and I'm going to keep playing. Like I said, I'll do my best to actually liven up, hopefully. <laughs> but a lot of it is the medicine is knocking me out. <clears throat> All right, Adam, did you get all that done? No. I was going to say, you got a lot of things lined up before you teach this dog. <clears throat> now, we got to think about um, this baby. I have no idea if we're having a boy or girl. I didn't try to influence it. I don't think I did. Oh, very nice. Adam and Austin are BFFs. Well, that's good. I didn't take any, any big work at all. No, I didn't, I didn't try to actually manipulate whether it's going to be a boy or a girl, I don't believe. So it doesn't matter. Oh, and I got the comment about the pink hair and that the baby's going to have pink hair coming up. Well, you know, that's okay. I have no problem with it. So pink hair, purple hair, no hair, whatever they got, that's what they got, and I'm I'm quite okay with it. All right. <clears throat> Austin, you got some time. Let's see, you got seven more days, but Adam is the one that's actually – oh, no, it's 12 more days. And Roxy, you've only got three more days until you become an adult. Now the one thing I was noticing here, once we actually move some of this stuff out of this room, <clears throat> and then the baby will have room to actually use the walker and whatnot. <clears throat> but right now I thought, where in the world are we going to put everything? I can always move some of this stuff out of the way too. So I think we'll have plenty of room in this house. It's just going to require a lot of putting stuff into storage and going from there. Okay. Teach that dog and how much longer do you have? Because I don't want you to mess up. I don't want you to actually get tired either. Okay, <clears throat> athletic. Okay, it's not a game day, I don't think, is it? Let's see, what is today? Saturday? Oh no, tomorrow's the game day. Okay, so as far as the only thing you really could have worked on was athletics, and you're close to being topped out. Um, you're only at level eight, so it wouldn't take long. Other than that, that's really all you know how to do. <laughs> that's pretty sad, Adam. I'm sorry. Um, you want to be worth more than a hundred thousand? Well, you got a ways to go, and so hopefully you guys can do that. Look at her; she's yeah. almost done with this painting. No, she's not. She's almost done with the skill. And as far as her um, painting skill, she is at. Okay, where are you at? <laughs> Where's painting? She's at level eight. She's about to be level nine, which that's good. Um, you want to master it? That sounds like a plan to me. Oh, I do want to take her for a massage. I'm not going to let her read the pregnancy book. Instead, I'm going to take her over for the massage because it's actually right across the street. Um, look at those horses over there. <laughs> I think it's right here. Yeah, go over here to the day spa, and I want you to um, get massage. And you know what? Let's go over the deep tissue. Go ahead and do that. So you continue working. Finish up that painting. Do what you got to do. I may let you just finish once you get to the skill point and then send you over there. That way you can at least get that done and then bring you home and let you eat because you, know, you are pregnant. I don't need to work you like a taskmaster, but <laughs> I tend to do that. All right, did he work? Did he finish? Oh, I thought it knocked me out. Okay, Roxy. He's still teaching her to sit up? Yeah. Roxy, you got that point, and I told you you could go, so you go ahead and head on over. And when you come back, you can finish this thing up. All right, Austin and Adam are fine. I'm going to go with Roxy right now just so she gets across the street. I don't think she's going to have to drive in a car. She should be able to just walk right across the street. But, you know, 
you never put anything past them. <clears throat> I like this building. It's really pretty. I like the, the way it's got that corner. Man! It's a horse convention. <laughs> I have no idea why they're all here. There must be something massively exciting for horses going on at the day spa. <laughs> mm -hmm. That looks like my horse from Pets. Oh my goodness, you've, you've messed up my poor little Roxy. <laughs> she couldn't get around you. All right, waddle on in there, get your massage. Hope you feel better. That ought to do. That ought to take care of you. Oh, they didn't like her at all. They didn't like. Oh man. I guess maybe she scared them. Okay, so she's got her stuff going on there. I'm gonna go back over here, and hopefully he's getting this taken care of. How close is Austin? Um, Adam, I think your needs are all pretty good, so there's really nothing I have to worry about for you. Go web. <clears throat> I like that jacket. I need to start looking for that jacket when I make my sims. I like that one for outerwear. Go ahead, buddy. Alright, and this is a huge bed. I still can't believe it. Of course, it's a big dog, so... But yeah, I just cannot believe it's that big. Okay, what did you do? Do you want to feed him a treat, I'm sure? Oh, teach him to speak. Okay, we could do that. Instead of seeing a concert, what's it worth? Mm, concert's worth more become friends with somebody. Yeah, I do need to make you do that. I'm sorry. I just kind of leave you to your own. <clears throat> Austin, how much longer you got? You have no idea. <laughs> You're trying. You're trying the best you can. Well, you got your hunting up to skill level 5. That's pretty good. Um, oh, I could give this I could give this to him and let him go get rid of that. Maple leaf isn't worth anything. I don't think it is. I'm selling it even though it's probably worth something more. Um, he's not he's not getting any points right now, but he's not doing anything to get points. So once the baby comes, I'm going to send him out and let him start hunting again and kind of keep him out of the way because we're going to be preoccupied with that kid for a little while. Not for long because with that toddler stuff, it doesn't take much at all. Now, I could have pushed Roxy to have more than one kid. I could have pushed for twins, and I thought about it. it. It was one of those things that just went through my mind. But then I thought, no, I'd rather just go ahead and have the one, and then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll have a second one later. Because I'm probably going to have two kids in this LP. That's At least that's my plan. Um, Austin's not going to last for that much longer. I mean, he will. He'll be around for a while. But, <laughs> hello. We're trying to look through the window. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, I'll just have two, and that ought to cover it. Oh, wow. This is actually the end of, of winter. I didn't even realize that. So it's Saturday. Uh, Roxy, if you're actually, well, I could take you over to the, uh, why am I clicking on you? I can't see you. I could take you over to the festival today, but there's really no need because you can't do anything there. <clears throat> it's not like you can actually, well, you can do some things, but you know, we already went, and I figured it'd be better to just come over with the kids as a family, so we'll just wait and do that. All right. Oh my goodness, Adam. How long is it going to take you to do this? <laughs> it's going to take you a while. But you know what? That's fine. It gives you something to do before work, and you are accomplishing something for him. All right, your carpool's coming. I'm going to let you go until the... Okay, Adam. Uh, Roxy's back. I'm going to let you do this until the carpool shows up, because otherwise... I don't know how long it'll take. There you go, finally. <laughs> All right, Austin... You worked really hard, buddy. Let's come over here and get you something to eat. Come on over. Oh, you're going to do it already. He's like, I'm not waiting on you. I got things I got to do. All right, so when you're done with that, um, I don't want to... Oh, man, you're not going to eat because the chair's in the way? Go ahead and eat from that bowl, and then you can actually chew on this thing. Roxy, where you at? Oh, you wanted to watch Wild Horse. Well, you had four of them. Did you eat? Oh, she did eat. Good deal. Okay, now, of course, it's dark in this corner. Let me go ahead and stop for just a minute. Um, I tend to do this because... What I've noticed is in my game, it's not really that dark at all for me, but for you guys, I think it's really dark, and especially when I play back, I'm like, why does it, it plays differently than what it records, because when I'm actually playing it, it's not dark really at all, but I can kind of tell that that was a little bit dark, so I do apologize sometimes if it's a little bit dark in places, it's not intentional, it just, it doesn't look that way when I'm playing it. It's kind of like the, um, the quality of the video, when I actually, I look back and watch what I'm seeing on YouTube, it doesn't look as as nice as the quality when you're playing the game if that makes any sense it's like okay it just looks so much better as I'm playing it and then when I go back to watch the video even though I'm recording it the highest I can I guess because it has to compress it to get it down to a file size that YouTube likes you just lose a little bit of the quality 
and it's not bad it just doesn't look as good I mean, you can definitely say that video quality of my episodes now it's much better than in the beginning because I didn't know what I was doing but I learned it took a while but I learned alright you need to actually go ahead and um, I think hanging with team mem members was something you needed to do it's great not good but you know what yeah that's excellent that's excellent let's just work on teammates and then that way maybe we'll get that built up a little bit okay little doggy you probably can go to the bathroom now I bet you could um not quite yet not quite yet so I'll let you wait <coughs> excuse me I did not mean to do that alright let's see Adam's gone Austin learned how to sit up <laughs> what, what's wrong buddy uh, you don't want to destroy anything I told you to go destroy it okay he's he's like I just couldn't think I couldn't imagine how to do it alright so I could go ahead and get the baby germ ready and I would if I knew what we were having or if I knew what we were trying to have but since I don't I'm just gonna kinda have to hold off and wait I have no idea what kinda name I want to give this child I really have not even given it any thought until just now I'm like oh yeah baby's coming I better get her name ready um, it, it really is one of those things that I just I guess once we actually have the baby here we'll do it look at that it's a gnome what kinda gnome is that Oh, that is too, that's too cute. <laughs> I like the gnome. Okay, it's a university gnome, it looks like. I don't know. Kind of looks like it. Or a snowman gnome. All right, this thing needs to go. Can we get rid of it? Uh, we can put it in the garbage. Where is our garbage? We have a big old garbage can somewhere on this lot. I don't know where it is. But we, um, Brand image. Finish reading. Okay, yeah, it's a book. You can read all day long, Adam. I'll let you read to your heart's content. Wait a minute. It's actually... <laughs> the snow's gone. Oh man, I was like, what's different? <laughs> All right, tell you what, little little buddy, come out here and pee. I can finally get you to pee. Okay, Roxy, you're gonna actually get this painting done, and you're almost gonna be maxed out on painting skill. And let's see, all you have to do for your lifetime wish is master painting and guitar. You've got the painting almost down, and as far as guitar, we can work on that. I want to actually get you to do that while you're pregnant, or actually while you're off on maternity leave. We'll get your lifetime wish accomplished, and then you can just concentrate on the fun things, the things you want to do. There's my garbage can. I knew it was somewhere around this house. I couldn't figure out where. All right, we're going to move this back over here. Okay, and then Austin, when you get done, I'm going to let you go ahead and go play chase with the ball. You might as well enjoy yourself. Okay, Adam, you still are about halfway through your work. Now, she's probably getting kind of ready to go to the bathroom. So let's get her set up. And... Oh wait, we had bubble bath, but I don't think I could put it out here because I don't know if it'll fit in that. Let's see, do I have? Mm, no. Tell you what, let me go into the inventory real quick. I know we got a whole bunch of stuff in here. I think I cleared it out for the most part, but not completely. So here's bubble bath, and I'd like to put it. Oh good, it does sit right there. All right, let's go ahead and put the bubble bath here. And um, do we have a grill? No, we don't have a grill, do we? Well, we do now. Okay, <laughs> so let's get the grill out here. Um, no, no, that's actually not a grill. That's a stereo. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's not going to help us one bit. Um, I do want to put this out real quick. Oh, wait. Somebody told me something that I needed to do, and I, I just completely spaced on it and forgot. Okay. Apparently, what you do is you take this, and you get rid of that. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm certainly sorry. Anyway, we're going to move this out of the way. Okay, move that in. It's supposed to line up eventually. I don't know if it does or if it doesn't. I guess it doesn't. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I misunderstood what they said. But I'm thinking because it's... I wanted this to be on the L. And it just doesn't seem to want to do it for me. Um, let's see. Turn that thing around. And you can't go in there. You can't do what I want you to do. Wait a minute. Yeah, you can. Maybe it's because this is up here. I don't know. We're gonna. Ah. Get back over there. <laughs> Get back over there and stop. All right. Let's see. Let's put this out of the way. Maybe that's actually causing a problem. But yeah, I thought it was supposed to just connect, which normally they do. But something's just not wanting this thing to connect. It's just not wanting to do what I want it to do. <laughs> I'm sure there's an easier way and I'm just making a huge huge problem of it but I tried I really just it's it's so weird 
because I think it's got to be, well, no, that's actually part of it right there. Because if I move this out, and if I put another one of these things in here, I'm sure it'll work. Um, speaking of which, see, right there, it works just fine. But as soon as I try to take this one out, it won't work. Oh, there, see, all right, I knew it was going to work eventually. I knew it. I wasn't going to give up. All right, we want this over that, and then I wonder if it'll allow me to put this back in. I probably won't, but, oh, wait, it will. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, OCD is very happy. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I know. Um, all right, so is there anything else I want to do? Oh, yeah, there was something I wanted to do while I was in here. Okay, I want to take this out, and I want to actually put that in there so we can actually get something to drink when we want to. It's a really cute little house. I really like it. And it's not too big and it's I think it's perfect for one child. When we have the second child, we'll probably have to start thinking about moving and getting into something bigger, but for this one, it should be fine. At least I would think so. All right, Roxy, I was going to actually take care of your bladder and I was going to let you take a bubble bath because that ought to make you feel better while you're pregnant. So let's go ahead and use that and then I want you to go ahead and take your bubble bath. Okay, Adam's working. He's going to be okay. Austin, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's so funny. All right, and I like this lot. I think the reason I like this neighborhood, I was trying to I was trying to figure out why I like this one, and it's kind of like the same reason why I like Moonlit Fa or Moonlight Falls. It's because it has this overcast look to it, this darker, um, everything's got a very darker tone to it, I guess. I like the dark, vibrant green, and I like overcast. I live in a place where it's sunshiny most of the time, and it's kind of like the opposite of what I like. I like more overcast shadows, um, that kind of stuff. So that's why I really find this appealing. So I like this world. I haven't played around much with it except for with you guys. So basically this is the only town, the only thing I'm playing in Aurora Skies is this LP right here. So still getting used to it. And I'm thinking I actually don't remember if I put that food register in at that cafe. I believe I did. Adam, you finally met everybody. That's good. All right, so tell you what, um, hang with them. <laughs> do what you got to do. Hang with your team, your team members because you're at least getting, well, it's still okay. It's not great. I mean, it is great, but it's not It's not where it needs to be, but it'll, it'll get there. Okay, you on the other hand, Austin, are you still playing with the ball? Yes, you are. So basically, this has been an episode of Watching Roxy Paint. Um, kind of like that saying, watching paint dry. <laughs> it's been okay. It's fine. I'm waiting on her to just have this child, and then, of course, you know, this is the calm before the storm. Once the child comes, then it can be, it can be crazy. But, I'll tell you what, that new toddler stuff that we get, that makes um, having children so much easier. Alright, Roxy, you did good. You know what? Hang on a minute. You can sell it for cash, or drag it onto a wall to hang it. Um... I'd like to sell it, but I'm trying to think, do you get more money if you sell it somewhere else, if you sell it at, like, the consignment store? So I'm wondering if we do that, and I'm going to let her try. So she probably is going to have this baby before I can get over there and do this. But I'm going to take her over to the consignment store, which is right over here. And, oh, she ought to go now. If she's going to go, let me go ahead and take her now. So let's go ahead and visit it real quick. That way I'll bring her back, and then she can do the whole bubble bath then. But I just want to see if you can, because... I can't remember if you can do that or not. Um, I know that you can hang them, if you get a request or an opportunity, you can hang them in a, in a museum or in the art museum or something. It's something through City Hall. I've done it like a long time ago and it was very vague. I can't remember what I did, but I definitely wanted to see. Now I'm gonna look and see if this car looks green. I know, that's my OCD, that's my ADHD right there. Actually, I don't have it, but I kind of flipped from one thing to the next. Yeah, it still looks like a green car to me. I don't know if you guys think the same. It just has that, you know, just a very light green shade or tint to it. All right, go ahead and waddle on in there. And, oh, somebody didn't like that. Uh, is there anybody here? Mm, doesn't look like anybody's here to do anything. Yeah, it looks like this place is closed. Nah, that's just terrible. All right, it's loading up, and uh, for some reason it's not loading up very fast. I wish it was, I wish somebody was here. The store's closed. I never know the hours for this place. <clears throat> Alright, well, you know what? Why don't you head on home? Because your husband's coming home. Wow, Adam. You just left work. You made 763. Apparently, you got yourself a nice little raise. Uh, you got a promotion, and you got a bonus of 1848. You're now the team captain. 
It must feel nice now that the crowd is shouting instead of booing when your name is called over the loudspeakers. Loved by fans for your clutch saves and by the coach for your team leadership, you're really starting to play towards that half of um, play towards that half of fame spot. Just don't start losing and you'll be okay. He makes 221 an hour. You know, he's just going to get to the point where he's making a lot of really good money and then he's going to get old and have to stop. He didn't have to stop, but, you know, he probably will. All right, his needs are actually pretty decent. Um, he ought to take, you want to improve your athletic skill? He ought to take Roxy out. So let's see, food-wise, you guys are fine. I'm trying to think where I have in this town. So while you guys are waiting, let me just pause you guys real quick before the baby shows up. Oh, he's being flirty. Okay, now um, they could go, is there a concert or, yeah, there's a concert here. Um, you guys aren't in a group. But I could actually get you to go to the concert, and that would take care of this wish right here. Let's see if we can actually do this real quick. Adam, ask her out on a date, and she's going to say yes, and then we're going to actually figure out where we're going. She'll probably say, oh, do you know any good bars or anything? And he's going to say, no, I don't. Come on, get on that date. Stop flirting. Start dating. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. All right, he should be. they should actually get in there in just a second. This way it'll kill one wish and it actually gets them out together. So you got to like that. Um, I'm still waiting. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's a date yet. There you go. All right. I was a... <laughs> of course it's almost over. It took him too long to ask his wife out. All right. Well, you know, we tried. Um, there's not a movie. I hate that. I wish we could actually have movies or something going on at any time. I guess I could put that movie theater in that I got from the, the Sims 3 store. As far as anything else, I could take them to Porta Party. That would be something they could go do. Um, because there's really not a whole lot else. I could take them to the gym, but we've done that. And yeah, I could take them to that park. I'm just looking to see. That's the library right there, so I don't really want to take them there. The Blue Lagoon, that's a little beach area. Um, I ought to turn some of these into little nightclubs. In fact, I'm probably going to do that in the next episode or so. Um, right now it would not make a whole lot of sense because they're about to have a child and they won't be partying too much but yeah I'm thinking we'll just take them over to Porta Party I mean I know that that's not actually something that came with Aurora Skies that was a Showtime thing but let's just go ahead and take them out over there because they're going to actually end up she's going to have that baby pretty soon anyway but this way it just gives them something fun to do on a Saturday night they're not just sitting at home because I feel like we've been at the house the whole episode long which basically we have, but this will get them out, and I don't know. Plus, I, I like it now. I love it with the snow. It's pretty, but I really like it when you see the green and everything, and it's a very pretty town. This was one of those towns that I was kind of scared of when they first released it because they only released that one picture in the beginning, and I, I just couldn't make a judgment call on it, and it took a while, and then finally, as they started releasing it, it started looking better and better, and um now I'm like, I'm really sold on this town. Okay, so this place is smoking hot, which means there's nobody here. Okay, but that's okay. You guys can come on upstairs and tell you what, why don't you guys go ahead. You can play skeet ball and she can play skeet ball right next to you too. I never usually actually play this. Um, typically I put in, let's see, which one do I put in? I usually put in um, mix karaoke and then there's another one. Um, What's the other one that I use that has all the other stuff in it? Oh my goodness, I can't even remember. I thought it was this one that had like the the gyroscope and everything. Maybe it is, it just doesn't seem to have it over here. I think this one normally does in Starlight Shores. It has the gyroscope right there. I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm just thinking something different. I'm, there's one that does. <laughs> I can't remember which one. All right, you guys go ahead and play and enjoy yourselves. It just gives you something right now before before you're actually going to be preoccupied with nothing but children. And that's okay. All right, now you can actually put this, um, since I don't actually use the Showtime careers outside of Starlight Shores, I could actually turn this into a dance floor and turn this into a club. That would be pretty easy to do. Um, I haven't done it yet. And I could put a bartender in over here with a professional bar. And then... It might actually make this a little bit more fun to come to. But um, for right now, it's fine. There's also the university hangout. Since these guys aren't going to go to university, 
what I'm thinking about doing is just taking some of those items and maybe popping them into this town as well. Just some of the places like the Balarama and um, maybe the coffee shop or something like that. And just give this town something else so that uh, these guys, they can actually enjoy some parts of the University Expansion Pack, oh. even though they're not going to be going. All right, 16,000 points. Come on, you can do better than that. 17,000 points. Okay. All right, are you having the baby now? All right. Why don't you guys go ahead and play pool? Play with Adam. What was she going to do? She's going to get a... Oh, she's going to give him a hug? Or he's going to give her a hug? I know you guys are tired. Getting... Oh. Yeah, I didn't want to cancel you out on your hug. Go ahead with your hug. Yeah. All right, you guys go ahead and play pool for a little bit. This is just a nice little quiet evening going out. And he got a promotion. You're celebrating. You're pregnant. You're happy. I think she's happy. Oh, yeah, she's extremely happy. She's elated. Not just happy, elated. Okay, so you guys enjoy yourself, and there's nobody in this smoking hot club <laughs> except for that guy down there, and I don't think he really counts since he's the proprietor. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like, where is, there, where is everybody in the town? It's a Saturday night. Where would the hot spot be? I don't really think there is one. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, it's about midnight. I don't want to keep him out all night long, but I did want to actually keep him out long enough to hopefully get her to have the baby, but doesn't look like that's going to happen. She's got the attractive one. Okay, does he have attractive? No. I do want to use their stuff. The problem is with this guy, he's going to age up and I don't want to waste too much of it but I want him to, I mean we could always take on the um, inheritance one when he hits 30,000. I don't normally like to do the genie because that's just too easy. Once you get the genie, you get 100,000 and then it's like you know, where's the challenge after that? I mean, it's it's not like it's a big challenge now anyway, because making money in this game is not hard at all. You can do it pretty quickly, but I also don't want them to actually just, you know, struggle their entire lives. So I want them to have some fun. <laughs> <Lang, lang. laughs> all right. She's finding everything. All right, the baby's coming. The baby is coming. Okay, so we either need to go to the hospital or go home. Let's go home. Go home. I'd rather you go home. If you go home, you can have it there and you get a better relationship with your child. Come on, Roxy. Roxy, go on home. <laughs> She's like, you don't even let me go to the hospital? You're so mean. <laughs> I know, I'm awful. I'm just terrible. Now, I'm assuming that my timer is still going. I have no idea because I haven't heard it. But yeah, it's still going. Um, they're closing. Roxy, go home. I really want you to go home so you have the baby there. Okay. She's like, I gotta get my my jacket on. Give me a break. That's okay. And she's gonna drive herself home in her nice little car. And I ought to at least cancel the date out before. Um, is he home? Yeah. <laughs> Your husband is worthless. He went on home without you. Oh, that's terrible. So go ahead and end the date. Can you end it? No, he's gotta end it. Um, Roxy, I can't see you through the building. Uh, go ahead and end that date. Okay. She enjoyed it. I'm sure he enjoyed it. Get home. Let's have this baby. And then we'll have to figure out a name, which I do not know. I'm kind of clueless. But my odds are saying that it's going to be a little girl. I'm thinking it's a little girl. Because we didn't do anything to manipulate it. But I'm just getting that feeling. I'm having a girl. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and have that baby girl. Adam. Don't let her. Don't let the pregnant lady behind you bother you. Come on. Don't let her interrupt your. Um, is that a social game that you're playing? Oh yeah. No, it's a book. Don't let that bother you. You're gonna go to. Be no, you're not. You're gonna actually react. No, you can't react. To you can't take her to the hospital. Why don't you just at least see what she's doing? <laughs> you know, she's sitting here going into labor right in front of you and. Go here. <laughs> at least get, at least look at her. <laughs> I know he's tired. He's tired. She's tired. But the thing is, if you have the baby here, you'll get a much bigger relationship boost when the baby's born. And it doesn't really mean anything. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I kind of like them to have a strong relationship. I really don't want them to be um, working on a relationship with their family members. I want them to actually like each other. So, all right, we got a baby girl. 
Okay, her pregnancy went well, and she and the baby made it through smoothly. The baby's been born with the brave trait, and you will get to choose her second trait. What would you like to name her? Huh, that is a really good question. Okay, and so what I think I'm going to do is I am going to name her Hannah. And normally I would put an H at the end, but when I looked it up under names from Iceland, um, one of the names that came up was Hannah, and it did not have the H at the end. But normally I would, that's the way I would normally spell it. But I'm going to go with the way that they spelled it as just H-A-N-N-A. -N -N Alright, so her traits, we could use any of these since it's not an EP or expansion pack. We can choose whatever we want. She got brave. Um, let's see, and you don't get all of them yet, but I'm wondering if I should go with something... Hmm. I always do virtuoso with the girls. I'm not going to do that. Um, I could do loves the heat or loves the cold, which I haven't done that in a while. Um, no, you're not going to hate the outdoors, that's for sure, because you're going to be spending a lot of time outdoors. Uh, I put discipline. They're going to want to send you to China. <laughs> I always put artistic. I'm not going to do that. So tell you what, why don't we go ahead and let's give you... Um, I think your mom has loved the outdoors. That's the thing. I didn't want to give you the same thing. Mm, could I go perceptive? Perceptive would be good, but it's not exactly what I want. I'm looking for things in case, okay, I don't want to make her a loner, but in case I wanted to send her to university one day later, later down the road, I'm looking for something that might help her and it'll just kind of lead her down this path. Genius would help her in just a few different categories, but definitely in business as long as as well as the other. Okay, so it looks like the only thing that she really gets for university type stuff, okay, phys ed, that would be okay. Um, no, it wouldn't be clumsy. Athletic. She could take the athletic trait from her dad, and she could then come back when we get to the next trait, maybe choose one of the artistic ones from her mom, and Let's see, artistic would be fine arts. I'm going to go ahead with artistic right now because she's going to need that first with the, um, well, she doesn't really need it, but she can use it with like her little drawing table and whatnot, but it's not going to really make that big of a difference. But let's just go with artistic, and then when I come back for the next one, I think I'm going to go with athletic, and that way she gets a blend of both. So, all right. Let's go ahead and see that baby. I can see her here. I just can't see her here yet. All right, here we go, Roxy. There we go. So there we have little Hannah. <laughs> little Hannah's just as happy as she can be. Let's take a look at her real quick and see if she's got her needs. Oh, yeah, her needs are fine. But, Roxy, before you actually put her anywhere, we've got to get you something. But go ahead and give her a bottle, and then you can snuggle her. And you can play with her a little bit. And then I need to go ahead and get you guys set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. And when we come back, I'm going to get them a brand new baby uh, nursery area. And we'll actually continue on from that point. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, I apologize. I was hoping I was going to get through the episode. <laughs> the medicine's kind of making me a little bit more mellower than normal. So I'm trying my best. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys next time.